what is up? This is Liam Rose. This is part two. Okay, we'll now fix that river that I accidentally broke. Ha! Huh, told ya! To I knew it, I knew it. Okay, it isn't part of my mod. But something is causing it not to spawn in. Um, it's not initially disabled or anything. I don't know, I wouldn't have a clue why. This is, this is gonna, I'm gonna come back to this because this is gonna take a very long time to figure out. Maybe it's just something to do with special edition, I don't know. What I'm gonna do now is set up the horns. So, you can use them separately from the hair. So, for this part, I have changed the horns to fit onto scars of a Dramora. So basically, um, you can choose the hair you want. You know, you get all the hairs. I still haven't deleted the old hairs, so don't worry about them. So yeah, you can get all the hairs you want. And then, after this you can... Scars. I put it in Scars. The reason for that is, there's nowhere else I can put it. I can't create a new tab. Or anything, so... This is the best I could do. I mean, there's really nothing else I can put it in. So, what I've done is, you can put the horns and change them to what you want. So this is pretty cool. You get all the horns you want with all the hairstyles, so, oh, that looks sick as, look at that. And then, yeah, so, we'll go for more. But that looks so sick. And also, if you have custom hair mod as well, so, you know, a mod that adds custom hairs to elves, it will also show up, so, you know, you can have your custom hairs now if you want, that's what one of the comments were on my, um, Bethesda.net, so, I'll definitely do this, definitely have to do this, so no one complains about that. So yeah, that's, that's it. Okay, I am now editing the Dremora head. Um, I'm going to make the horns, that you know, the horns that come out of the side a little bit better, very close to this. This is basically what I've been basing my Dremoras from, just this one picture. So there we go, that's all set up. So all I'm going to do is move the head down. The head I won't be saving, this is just um, so I have something to... Um, you know, so I know where I'm putting all horns. Okay. Swag is there, I think. Maybe that's it. Maybe I can go forward a bit. Yeah, I'm still... um, yeah, I'm gonna go forward a lot more than that. Okay, it's just where the ear ends. So, I'd be there. That's where the horns are, that should be the base model. Okay, the head dips in a bit for the elves. But I reckon it looks good.
I've done the arena, the radio is all set up with the markers, I can now set up the quest, which is awesome, so, okay, okay, this is what I've done, this is what I've done with the, all the actors on the outside, so, if you didn't know, if you have multiple, like, probably more than 20, maybe, or 10 act. oh, I would say it depends on how well your computer can handle it, but, usually, if you have a certain amount of actors, um, the, they won't attack you, like, if you have like 30 actors, none of them will, well, there'll probably be like 5 of them out of the 30 that will actually start attacking you until those 5 are dead. So I think that's just to stop lag or something, I don't know. So, so, so that was the problem with adding AI around the outsides of my arena. Out of all these, all these Dremoras, only that one and that one are real. So what I've done is, is I added all the um, meshes, data armor and all that, and modeled two versions of it. I'll probably might, uh, I don't know. So what I did was I modeled them to move a bit, so they just look like that, just idling, moving. Like so, so basically, um, I didn't put much detail into it because you won't see them up close because they're pretty high up. So it'll be like this. So you'll still see them move a tiny bit. These got these two will be clapping, and you'll get like you know ones from the outside like that. Um, Zifkin, another Dramora there, and yeah. So that'll just be in the background. Those Dramoras to be like just to fill in the crowd. They're fake. They're fake. So if you've ever seen the Dramoras in um, Outer Scrolls Online in the Maelstrom Arena, the ones in the back. Um, they like have white skin and very low detail. If you're wondering why they don't have horns or anything, obviously they most likely would have just forgot about it. And the white is because you know they just use the basic um, skin, and you know in the character tab you have to add the skin color. So the default is just white until you add the skin color. So they didn't really bother with that. So what I did was this: is I just retextured the face to be blue. And yeah, so that's what I got. I didn't add the eyes because it would have been messed up anyway. I don't even need it because it would be so far away. So yeah, um, they are fake as the horns is just black. I it has um, vertex color on it, and I don't know it doesn't really matter. Don't need to bother that. Don't need to fix it. So it's really pixelated in the back, but you can't really see it. Um, yeah, um, yeah, it doesn't really matter. That, that's all going to be just low, low rendered things in the back. Just to fill in the crowd so it looks like it's full. So, if you come to the edges of the wall, you'll just hear Dramora is like cheering and screaming and stuff. So it's going to look cool. Okay, the announcer is actually going to be me. So I made myself a Daedric Lord or Daedric Prince in this game. I'm going to add my own lore and everything. So this is what I decided to make my character look like. He's gonna be like, uh, let's say something acts like intelligent, but his story is he's you can basically call him a god, I guess, where he creates and destroys. And his he loves to make stories and yeah. So basically, if I make a quest for him, it would start off. You'd start off probably reading a book, maybe. And then suddenly, boom, you're in the middle of nothing, everything's black. And then the map gets built around you. That's what I've been trying, that's so I'm going to, I've worked on this other mod that I've paused right now. That is something like that, and it's going to look really cool. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't steal my idea. So, yeah, um, this is my Dramora. I'm in the middle of making a staff. Actually, I made the staff, didn't I? I just made a Daedric staff that I'll also add to one of the chests. As a playable weapon, there we go. So this is the staff of the Lambrus. Looks so good. That's a really good item. Ooh, it's a little small, it'll scale to the character, so it'll probably be that big when he holds it. It's also really heavy but does a lot of damage. It's usually used as a walking stick more than a you know combat staff. But yeah, um, so that would be the guard weapon for 
Um, my character, Lumbris, over here. I still gotta retexture the red to green, but I don't know. Yeah, so I'll be a DJ Garden here, and I will be leading the arena. So I'll be fully voice. Um, since I don't have any voice actors, I have to voice it anyway. So I may as well create my own character and voice the whole arena myself. So if I make any future mods, I can just. Uh, use this character that I've made right here and put them in it. The same with future um, Outer Scrolls games if I want to mod them. I can have my own character with the lore, give my own lore. So basically each Outer Scrolls I can release my own new mod. So if I want to create a whole freaking DLC for myself again in the next game I can use my character and create a whole world about and whole lore of my character. So yeah, um, he's, uh, I can't really say what Deep Prince he is, but he basically destroys and creates, like a story or something. So yeah, um, yeah. So yeah, his horns are a little different than a normal Dramora. It's more of a superior, like, the bigger the horns, the better, you know what I mean? So yeah, and his horns go up, show a more strong intellect style. Oh, no, no. So anyway, that's enough about me. So yeah, um, that's that's that. That's it. So um, first off, so what's gonna happen is get the player to spawn in here. I'll probably change the door something better. He'll spawn here. There'll be a lever that he'll have to um, click on to open this, and that's where the first scene will start. Which you'll have to come to the middle just so the door can close again. Because yeah. And I have to get you quite far away just so you don't glitch it by using that sprint one before the door comes up or something like that. So I'll get you to come to the middle, then the door will go up, and then the quest will start. And my character will start explaining the rules to the arena, and start talking over everything. And then, after explaining about the chest, how the rules work, and what you have to do to complete a wave, and then we will start and we will get right into releasing actors out of the sides here. So basically what will happen here is all enemies will spawn on the side like um, uh, an ant nest or no, ant forcarium or I don't even know how to say it. Forcarium is just how you say it. So you'd have like, you know, if you've ever played, um, what's the game called? Empire of the Undergrowth. So basically in your tank you would have a pipe on each corner which will, you know, let in a bug to attack the ants. So that's basically what this is. That's why I named it the Forum Carium. Forming Carium, I don't know. Yeah, so they'll spawn in, they'll just jump down. Now I made it so they have to jump down, just so the player doesn't go in there. So if the player attempts to actually get in there, they'll just die. I'll put a death boundary in there. But yeah, um, the actors will jump down. If it's an archer, there's a chance they might not jump down, but whatever. So that's why I've added these barriers here, so if you know, there's arches on the balconies and they're not jumping down like they're meant to. So basically the, um, you can hide from them until they, until they think of jumping down and then you can attack them or you can just, you know, use these as cover while you take them out on top of the ledges. Up to you. So yeah, um, that would be really cool. So, of course I already have this all planned out. I've already made the arena once but actually didn't save the, the freaking ESP. So I'm doing it again. And I, this time it's a hell of a lot better than the last time I did it. Now the, oh yeah, rewards. Did I tell you about rewards? Well, the rewards, you're going to have to complete the arena a couple times to unlock everything. I'm going to have like, you know, you get a key and the key will unlock you an area where it has chests in it that you can open up and loot. Where, um, yeah, and each time you complete the arena, you get another key to unlock the next area to the next area and each area you the Next dex area you unlock gets you better items, I guess. Now that may change throughout the making of the quest. It depends on what I can and can't do. Like if something's way too hard, I won't do it. But if I can, if I, if it's easy and I can do it, I will. So I'll say that's it for this video. I will return with another video doing the questing and scripting and stuff. So that should be fun. And yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and please leave likes if you subscribe, leave a comment for any more details I must add, and I hope you, 
I already said that and goodbye. <laughs>